New at 6 yesterday, President Trump approved a new law that allows insurance companies and pharmacy workers to discuss more affordable options with patients. Today, Trump's Health and Human Services Secretary was in town to discuss the law and how it's going to affect patients, and he spoke with Money Editor John Delano. Spartan Pharmacy in Brentwood was the site for a visit by the nation's top health and human services official, HHS Secretary Alex Azar, who listened to local folks about prescription drugs. I heard a lot about drug prices, as I should, because drug prices are too high. In a brief press conference with Spartan owner and pharmacist Adam Rice and Center for Medicare Services Deputy Administrator Paul Mango, Secretary Azar touted a bipartisan bill just signed into law by President Trump, banning so-called gag clauses. These gag clauses are mechanisms by insurance companies to prevent your pharmacist from telling you that you could get a drug for less by simply paying out-of-pocket cash instead of running it through insurance. Under the gag rule now lifted, Rice could not tell patients about a cheaper way to buy the same drug. I had a patient with a high copay of $50 for a relatively inexpensive antibiotic where I could have intervened and charged them half as much. Thanks to the new law, that has changed. Besides this, Azar says the Trump administration is committed to bringing down drug prices. So I asked him, when are we going to see drug prices in the U.S. that are no more expensive than someone in Canada, Mexico, Europe, wherever can buy? So the president is very frustrated by the fact that socialist systems outside the U.S., because they're socialist, they pay less. Azar wants to find ways to lower prices. Banning the gag rule was a start. So here's the advice to consumers. When you pick up your prescription drugs, ask if it's cheaper to pay outside your insurance plan or to pay under your insurance using your copay. Your pharmacist is now able to answer that question honestly. John Delano, KDKA TV News.